morning students in this lecture i want to solve some more problems on fourier integral theorem okay students write down using fourier integral show that integral 0 to infinity omega sin x omega by 1 plus omega square into d omega that is equal to pi by 2 e power minus x and x value students greater than 0 x value is greater than 0 now if you observe here students the term sin x omega what students sin x omega that means you are applying the formula for your sin integral okay students whenever you observe sin term it is for your sin integral whenever you observe cos lambda x it is for your cosine integral students please remember students right solution solution we know we know for your for your sin integral what students for your sin integral what is for your sin integral students f of x that is equal to 2 by pi integral 0 to infinity sin lambda x into integral 0 to infinity f of t sin lambda t dt into d lambda into d lambda ok students now see students we need f of x f of t students so f of x say let let f of x that is equal to see students it is constant so what is function a students e power minus x so you always take e power minus x students and here what is condition students x value is greater than 0 x value is greater than 0 so i want to take inner integration students so take take integral 0 to infinity f of t sin lambda t dt so that is equal to integral 0 to infinity between uh, 0 to infinity students so x value greater than 0 so no problem students what is f of t e power minus x into sin lambda t sorry student this is t not x dt dt now we have formula students once again integral e power a x sin b x dx what is formula students e power a x by a square plus b square into a sin b x minus b cos b x what students b cos b x now what is a here students what is a a is minus 1 and b is lambda b is lambda students so that is equal to e power minus t by minus 1 whole square students so 1 plus b square lambda square into a a means minus sine lambda t minus b students lambda so lambda cos cos lambda t students lambda t between limits 0 to infinity between limits 0 to infinity that is equal to such the upper limit students upper limit e power minus infinity e power minus infinity the value is students 0 e power minus infinity value is 0 so value 0 minus substitute lower limit students e power 0 the value is 1 so 1 by 1 plus lambda square into into sin 0 0 students minus lambda into cos 0 cos 0 value is 1 so that is equal to minus into minus plus lambda by 1 plus lambda square 1 plus lambda square so substitute say this is 1 students 1 substitute in 1 we get we get I want to tell me students here f of x what is f of x value students e power minus x so e power minus x that is equal to 2 by pi integral 0 to infinity sin lambda x this value students this value is lambda by 1 plus lambda square into d lambda d lambda but here if you observe students we have here in terms of omega students so put 
put lambda is equal to omega students we get we get uh, so there are some real in the term students here like integral 0 to infinity omega you write uh, omega in place of lambda students into sine sine omega x divided by 1 plus omega square 1 plus omega square into d omega that is equal to you cross multiply students to get a pi by 2 e power minus x here x value is greater than 0 which is the required solution students which is the required solution let us see the another problem students write down students using the Fourier integral show that integral 0 to infinity sin omega cos x omega by omega into d omega that is equal to pi by 2 when 0 less than x less than 1 students 0 less than x less than 1 solution see students again we are observe here cos term so what is sum of students for here cosine integral all right students we know we know Fourier cosine integral or students Fourier cosine integral what is sum of students f of x that is equal to 2 by pi integral 0 to infinity cos lambda x into integral 0 to infinity f of t cos lambda t cos lambda t dt into d lambda into d lambda now we need f of function students here so f of x that is equal to what is f of x students here see what is f of x students there is only pi by 2 so function is constant students say it is 1 ok students and what is condition students 0 less than x less than 1 students 0 less than x less than 1 so you take inner integration students take integral 0 to infinity f of t cos lambda t dt that is equal to integral 0 to 0 to what is the upper limit students here 1 so f of t value is 1 beyond 1 1 to infinity the value students 0 function value is 0 into cos lambda t dt so that is equal to integration of cos lambda t students sin lambda t by lambda between 0 to 1 between 0 to 1 so stop limit students we get sin lambda by lambda minus of lower limit sin 0 value is 0 sin 0 value is 0 finally i got here sin lambda by lambda so substitute substitute So this is one students in one we get we get what is f of x students one so one that is equal to two by pi integral zero to infinity cos lambda x cos lambda x. this value students sin lambda by lambda into d lambda but here in terms of omega students so uh, put lambda is equal to omega and rear in the terms here students like integral 0 to infinity cos what value uh, you write uh, omega in place of lambda students so omega x sin omega by omega into d omega that is equal to cross multiply of 2, 2 by pi students you get here pi by 2 hope you understand students thank you thank you for watching this video jai hind